all right guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna be finishing up the last I want to say very basic information about vectors after this you're gonna be a vector pro so one thing I want to cover is what if you try to do those operations like adding vectors together but the vectors are uneven lengths so let me go ahead and show you guys a scenario when that's gonna happen say that you have a vector and let's just make it like 1 through 5 and then you have another vector uh, 1 through 3 well what's gonna happen is let me just output these first whenever you try to add those together it's gonna go ahead and start adding them together like normal so this is vector A and this is vector B so you add them together you get 2 4 6 but then you get 5 and 7 but where does that come from because there are no numbers right here well what's gonna happen is this is gonna loop through one two three but as soon as B runs out it's gonna start over again so this is basically one two three one two three one two three until all the operations are done so that's why whenever you added four plus one you get five and five plus two gives you seven now this warning message right here says longer object is not a multiple of shorter object length basically if this had six items in it three goes in the six perfectly so you wouldn't get an error message but since this has three items and this has five three doesn't go into five perfectly it's not a multiple they aren't a multiple of each other so that's why we're getting this error message so again that's what happens when you try to um do operations of vectors of different lengths it works just I just want to explain to you guys that if you're getting numbers that you didn't expect that's why now another cool thing that you can do is let me go ahead and clear everything out is you can also run true and false those logic tests on them so let's make a vector a and let's just set this equal to I don't know like 1 to 10 or something well what we can do now is we can test a less than 5 so check this out let's run it it says true 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 false 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 let me count false 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 so what is going on here it basically takes every single number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and it plugs that in for a is one less than five yes is two less than five yes three four yes is five less than five no it's equal to each other and everything else is false so again, this is for one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. So aside from that, <laughs> there's actually a lot of different things that you can do with vectors as you're learning. So there are some uh, rather basic ones, but another cool thing that you can do is you can actually use those logic operators with functions as well. So again, if we have a vector called A, and this is just a list of numbers one to 10, what we can do is say something like this. Let me just go ahead and type all this out. All right, so basically whenever I run this, you're gonna see a less than five true, a less than five false. Whenever you use the function any, what this is gonna do is it's gonna run this test right here. Test all of these numbers to see if they're less than five. If any of those numbers return true, then output true. So that's what this does. It tests if any of these tests are true, then it's gonna say true. What well, all means is if all of these numbers are less than five, then say true. However, we know that only four of those are less than five, not all of them, so that's why it's false. So basically, whenever you wanna test if any of the tests or all of the tests, you use any and all pretty freaking sweet and the last thing I want to show you guys concerning vectors is how to get an individual item out of that list of numbers because you're gonna to want to do that quite often so let's make a brand new vector and let's just name it Hoss and let's just set this equal to like 50 to 60 so now when you run this we see 50 through 60 right here but let's say we only want to pluck one of these numbers out let's say I don't know maybe one of these 
Well, what we can do is we can use these square brackets in there next to the P on your keyboard, and we can type a pretty much a number in there, such as let's just put three and see what happens. What this is going to do is it's going to say, okay, we're going to give you the third item in that list. So this is the first one, this is the second one, this is the third one, 52. So that's why it returned 52. So remember, square brackets say, give me a certain item in the list. So that's what that does. Now, just so you know, I hopefully can use you guys even more, you can also return a range of items. So if you put one colon five, what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you the first five items in that list. So let me clear and run this and check it out. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So again, not only can you pull one item from a list, you can also get a range of items in that list. So hopefully you guys understand now how to, I don't know, run test on list, how to, uh, you know, do a whole bunch of crap with brackets. And now that we cover the basics of vectors, we're going to be moving on to, um, well, you guys are going to see. It's going to be awesome, as always. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.